Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. My name is Cotton Candy Da. If you're new here, then um, welcome. Welcome all. So first off, my chair is uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's more like it. Anyway, I'm not even in a regular chair, guys. This is a freaking lawn chair. So first, I'm going to tell you guys um, about my experience. Um, I will have two, um, two story times to do with you guys. I have my hero, and then I also have Naruto. Um, I shifted to Naruto. So anyway, um, am I like Dipsy? <laughs> am I like kind of like I'm so stupid? Like I'm just dumb. I had to. I'm sorry. I had to get out of my chest because like me and Madara got into an argument because I called him little brother, but I was honestly just joking around. I mean, he's got to be like 500 years old or something. Anyway, so. Before I start, I am going to um, tell you guys, I've been working on some business ideas, things to sell at my business. And one of the things I think is going to be a really huge hit is it's going to be bubbles. So I'm going to be selling bubbles on the street corner. Like, you know how people sell drugs? So I'm going to be selling bubbles. Like, got these bubbles for you, man. I got these bubbles. Got these bubbles. I got these bubbles. No, but... Uh, <laughs> Anyway, I'll blow them for you guys in a minute so you can see. I also thought of doing teddy bears, but my teddy bears turned out like this one. I mean, I did this one, right? I did this teddy bear. He just looks so angry, right? I mean, look at it. I look mad. And then this other one that I have that I made, this one just looks shocked. I mean, look at it. He looks shocked like somebody made me. So like, yeah, it just, they don't really look like much to look at, so... I'm going to stick with commercial products for myself. And I actually made this myself. Um, I made this solution using... I use so many freaking ingredients, guys. This is not a simple um, bubble recipe that I made. It was very complicated. And I had to dwindle it down because the person that I learned to make it from, they were making like the giant bubbles. And I wanted something smaller and a smaller bottle that I could sell. I definitely don't want to sell them in this type of bottle. But this is all I could have to hold my solution in so far. Um, it's really good. It works really, really well. I'm actually, I'll demonstrate it to you guys. Yeah, so. <laughs> so, guys, if someone gives you a choice of what to take, do you take the red pill or do you take the blue pill? That's basically what happened with me and Madara. He decided to play games with me. And at the time, I just thought he was just, you know. He wanted. He said he wanted to show me to, into his world, right? He said he's from Naruto Shippuden. I said, I know where you're from. I said, you're also from the regular Naruto because they talk about you in there. But he said, I don't really show myself into Shippuden. So I would like to take you out to some spots to get some ramen and maybe meet some of like my family. But Madara, all of your family is dead. He's like, my new family. I'm like, yeah, new family? Okay, cool. So Madara invited me out and he said, he told me, he said, um, dress casual. I said, okay, but he said, but dress nice. So dress casual, but dress nice. And that means like maybe dress pants and maybe like a polo shirt or maybe a button down shirt or something like that. And he said, well, you can wear just like, you know, one of those shirts that look really nice and just wear like some pants, not sweatpants, not jeans. I'm like, am I going to like a job interview or what? Like what's happening here? Anyway. Oh, this is such a good solution because uh, I can also blow more bubbles with it, <laughs> with the same bubbles. So, I mean, this is really cool. Um, anyway, so he wanted me to dress like, he said, actually sexy casual, dress kind of sexy. I'm like, what? So I'm like, Madara, where are we going? I said, you're not going to come. I'm not going to come to your family looking like some kind of slut. You know what I mean? Like, plus we're not like that. We're basically. And then I said, basically, you're like my little brother. That's when he got upset. Oh, since when did I become like a little brother to you? Haven't I been looking out for you all this time? Haven't I been beside you this whole time? But you're going to think of me as a brother and call me your little brother? I said, my bad, big brother then. Oh, so now I'm your big brother. Now, what the hell are you supposed to be then, dude? You're not my lover. But I didn't say that. I just said, okay. Well, I said, let's tone it down a little bit. Because, you know, it's getting to be, you know, a little bit out of hand. He was, like, yelling and stuff. And his eyes was, like, I'm, like, okay, well. 
since your eyes are glowing red and you're angry, obviously. And he breathing hard, like, I'm like, whatever. I'm like, you know what, Madara, I'll get dressed and then I'll come back. He was like, well, I want to go with you. I said, no, I don't want you to go with me. Okay, guys, so whenever I shift, um, I always shift like this, guys, okay? Or the one time I shifted in, in that outfit behind me. I only did it like one time because the outfit was kind of weird when I got there. It wasn't really, I actually have it. So remember I wore this sailor outfit? Well, it's not really a sailor outfit. It's like a schoolgirl outfit or whatever. And I shifted it to, I shifted into this outfit and it was kind of like, I became like a yellow and white Power Ranger. It kind of became like a latex. But then I had like a skirt on. It was weird. Um, so I'm never going to shift in that again because that was weird. Toshi Dory was like, what do you have on? And I was just like, and then um, when Keiko saw me, he was like, you were hot, hot mama. And Frodo was like, hot mama. And I'm just like, you know what? Because <laughs> he repeats now. He listens and repeats anything you say. So I told him, be careful with what you freaking say. Because we don't want him saying stuff inappropriate in school or whatever. So, yeah, that's what that's what it transformed into last time. So I don't do that. But also, when I shift to places, I like to shift with other skies because I don't want them to know what I look like. Sometimes uh, you can open doors and they won't close back. They said once you open up this door, it won't close. And I actually believe that because it's really hard for me to unsee everything I have. And even though I try to, the stuff I want to forget about, I write down 90% of the time, it'll be in the book and I won't remember it. But then something will remind me later, like, remember this? Like, remember this? And I'm like, so I don't really want that. So that, you know, that's going to get out. That's not going to, no. So anyway, he's like, he wanted me to, to dress up. I'm like, okay, Naruto Shippuden. And he was like, you probably shouldn't tell Toshinori or anything that you're going to my hometown because I'm pretty sure they're going to be like, they want to come to or something like that. And Toshinori has been dying to get away. Like, I got angry at him because he was like, I was telling him about like my issues here and stuff because he knows like what I do here and stuff. And, you know, I work as like a teacher or whatever. And he was like, um... He's like, you know what? Why don't you want to go somewhere? You want to just get away? You want to just go out? And I'm just like, I was like, go where? He's like, you want to just get away? Go somewhere? First off, I hate, I hate, I don't like that. Don't say you want to just go somewhere. Let's get away. You have nowhere for us to go. Like, why are you mentioning that? Oh, I was just trying to make you feel better. Uh, it was just a thing of comfort. So you want me to believe that we can't go somewhere even though we can't go nowhere? Because you're going to be confined to this place. And then he was like, I can come there with you. I'm like, no, you're not coming here with me. First off, I don't want y'all to see what I look like. So I wear this. First off, I wear this disguise. This is my wig, my disguise, okay? So they don't know what I look like in real life. And Madara said he already saw me. He was like, yeah, you was about to get in the shower. You had a towel wrapped around. He's like, I was um, standing outside of the door. Like he was standing outside the door, like listening to the shower. He was like, well, I wanted to come in, but... I'm like, okay, so that's kind of like, I said, that's very like private and personal. Like, don't do that to my space. Don't listen to me take a shower and stuff because that's weird. Weirdos do that. And you don't want to be like a weirdo. So anyway, he's like, okay. He's like, well, you coming to my hotel? I was like, fine, I'll dress decent, you know. So I found, um, I found this shirt. It had like sparkles and stuff on it. I had that and I had like a black skirt. And I said, you know, when I traveled there, I wanted it to look like this. And I imagined what I wanted it to look like. And before I could shift, Madara pulled me, of course. And he's like, I felt like you were going to my hero. So I needed to put, take you with me, like take your hand and take you with me. So we was outside of the Konoho village. And so <laughs> Naruto Shippuden, okay, so it's very different. I always say that it's really colorful whenever you travel or you shift somewhere and it's, it's the, your DR. Everything is colorful. Everything's just beautiful. And the first thing I noticed was like the butterflies. It was so pretty. Oh my gosh, yeah. It was the prettiest thing ever. I'm looking around. I'm like, this is like freaking cupcakes and rainbows. <laughs> and I was just laughing. Like, he's like, I'm like, you would almost forget they were like ninjas here in danger. Because the place where we went, it was basically just like paradise and hills. And it was just something weird about it, you know. I'm walking on the grass. The grass didn't really feel like grass. It had sandals on. So I basically tried to dress casual, but dress nice. So I had on these black, um, they weren't leggings. They were pants, but they were kind of like, 
they were a little tighter on me to kind of fit better. And my shirt, you know, I had the sparkly shirt on and it ended up being a puff shirt when I got there. So I'm walking through this green, beautiful grass and there's the scent of like lilacs and roses just filling the air around me. And I look around, there's flowers everywhere and there's a tree. And he goes, my family lives over here. And I'm walking with him. I'm like, I don't see them. And in the clearing, I see like a rainbow and there's like hills. I'm like, wow, this is such a beautiful place. And I'm just inhaling the flowers and the air and the atmosphere is just so beautiful. And I'm just like, wow, I wish I could take so many people here. Like, I wish I could just bring them to this place because it makes a difference having, being able to touch grass. And then he's like, um, I'm like, well, I don't see the house. He said, you see that tree? That's my house over there. I'm like, the tree? He goes, yes, that's where my family is. Let's go. So I, I'm smiling kind of and... We're, at first, we're arm in arm, but then he moves his hand down so that we're holding hands. So our, our hands are locked like this. I don't like this, holding hands this way. I never hold hands that way. I love holding it like this because I can just let go of your hand. <laughs> you get it? Like, I, I have more control over the rest of being locked in. Plus, it feels kind of feels... It kind of feels like you're locked in, like, a relationship in that way, too. It's, like, really... um a couple thing they sort of do that because it means you want to be with that person for a really long time so you guys lock hands and it has a different meanings for like children and other stuff so whatever so anyway he's he does that and then i snatch my hand away and he goes what and i'm like and then i take his hand and i just hold it like this like no he goes oh, okay so we're holding hands i'm like yeah i'm like this place is so beautiful i'm like you didn't tell me you lived in such a beautiful place like this your family is here he goes yeah they live in this tree house over here let's go <laughs> so I go into this tree house and there are these little um, creatures in there that are like flying, like little fairies. One of them's green, one of them red, one of them's blue, one of them's purple. And they're sitting down, they're like, let's have a tea party. I'm like, we're going to have a tea party? I said, this is your family, Madara? He's like, yeah, this is my family. And he's smiling like this. And he's like, sit down, let's, well, let's, let's die with my family. I'm like, where's your brother and sister and whoever else he goes i don't have family remember duh so then i go where am i madara like where did we shift you i said who is this guy i said these guys look really familiar too they look like they're from you know where they're from you want to know where they're from they are from do i have my game yeah i have my games right here they are from Let's see if you can guess it before I tell you, okay? Little creatures that live inside of a tree, all right? They live in a tree. But my thing is, I don't know what Madara's... I actually don't know what he wanted. To, like, I don't know what his was what his um his motive was, because I just don't understand. But if you've ever played any of the <laughs> the um, Story of Seasons games, you know the little fairies. Look at them at the bottom. See how one's, one's like orange, one is blue. There was a red one though. There was a red one there where I was with him. Oh, here it is back here with him. See? Yeah, there was like a red one there. And I don't think I remember seeing like purple or green, but I know there was a couple of them in there. They were like, let's have a tea party. We had like a little tea party, but I was suspicious the whole time. Like I didn't realize. And they are like, yeah, they just adopted me as their family. Um, He's like, yeah, they just adopted me as their family. Like, I'm like, okay, so you realize this is like, he goes, this is one of your favorite places because it's one of your favorite games that you like. And I wanted to bring you here to, to give you peace of mind. I said, why did you tell me we were going to Naruto Shippuden? I should have known when I traveled there, it wasn't there. <laughs> it was just too pretty. I, it, it really was. And I should have known better, right? Takes one to know one. So I'm sitting there and we're having tea and stuff. And it's really good tea, guys. I mean, this tea is not, this is not your average tea. It is out of this world, okay? And everything always tastes so much better wherever you shift. It's always much more colorful. But this place was just dying of, like, beauty. So I was just like, it's nice to meet you guys, you know, but I'm going to get going. And Madara is like, where are you going? We haven't even finished our tea. He's like, yeah, just stay a bit. I said, okay, I'll stay a while. And I'm sitting there. I just feel weird about the whole thing, like being in this treehouse, uh, thinking I was going to be in Naruto Shippuden. And 
So I finished up my tea. I'm sitting there. And Lana Red is like, well, we've got some, uh, you guys have, have some farm work to do, right? They're like, yeah, that's right. I'm like, okay, well, come on, Lana let's go. He's like, okay, let's go. So we leave out and I'm walking. He's like, how'd you like the, the house? I said, it's nice. He was like, I didn't ask you if you just wanted to go away. Did you want to just go somewhere? I'm like, oh my God. Because me and Toshi already got into it over that. And he was like, my problem with him is like, when are you not listening to me? Like, I almost have no privacy now. Me and that was me and Toshi Nori's argument when he said, well, let's just go somewhere. And I'm like, where are we going to go? You can't go anywhere. Well, he took me somewhere I'd never been to before, but it was just really pretty. And I feel like that has a lot to do with his genjutsu too. So, but then he was like, if you leave it, you want to, if you want to go back, you can. I was just disappointed. Like, I'm like, okay, Monora. And he's like, you want to go to like a ramen shop somewhere? You want to go? And I was just like, no, like. I just want to go home. Like, I was kind of mad. I was kind of irritated. I was like, I want to go home. And he's like, I'm sorry if I upset you. I didn't mean to make you mad. I was trying to make you happy and smile. Don't you like the flowers? Aren't they pretty? I'm like, he's like, oh, so now you're not saying nothing. Are you going to be silent? I'm like, I can't help it. Like, I sometimes I just, like, shut down. <laughs> and I'm not, like, I'm not trying to, like, why does it look that way? The hot mess. I have like no bang. Like, what's going on here? Anyway, I didn't really even. I haven't combed this wig or anything today. But anyway, sometimes I'll get like quiet or silent because I don't want to talk. Like, there's nothing to talk about. Like, you've screwed this up for me. Because this was an argument me and Toshinori had, and you jumped in the middle of it. So I'm just like, um. I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's go get ramen. He's like, okay. So he took me with him to. Naruto Shippuden. And I finally got to see what it was like. I finally got to go to Naruto Shippuden. And I have never tried to go there. I always said I wouldn't try to. Since that last time I went, I, I was not going to go. But I went with um, Madara. So we were like locked arms walking. Um, so we walked past the ramen shop. Naruto was over there with Sasuke eating. And Sakura was like in the corner pouting. I don't know what was wrong with her. So I was like, let's go sit next to Sakura and talk to her. And I got ready to, so we're walking toward them, right? They don't even know we're there. I don't think they're supposed to see us because they had their backs turned. And it was weird because Sakura could see us, but she wasn't really like looking at us. She was just in her own world. And Madara comes walking past like, so people are seated on the right side and on the left side. The place is really huge. It's basically like this tent and it has like the Japanese letter written in front of it. It's green and it has like red it has like the red boxes on it and then it has black um, calligraphy inside of it. And I don't know, I can't read it, but I'm pretty sure it says like ramen or something. So we were walking in, it smelled so good guys. I'm like, oh my God, what did I make it? So he's like, come on. So we're walking toward um, the back. I passed Shikamaru, I passed Choji on this side. They were like, but those are the only two I remember seeing. I didn't see like none of the people I wanted, like Hikashi, <laughs> I didn't see, um, Kirby Sage, like I didn't see Jiraiya or nothing. I didn't see Lady Tsunade. I didn't see any of them. I, that's who I was like looking for. But I was trying to be discreet. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I remembered Madara's a freaking enemy of their village. Like if we walk past them, we're going to have a problem. So I like did like this, tried to pull him away. But he, he pulled me right in front of where Naruto and Sasuke were. And Sasuke was like, Sasuke looked at him and was like, ugh. Like this, it was like, and got up and was like, got in the face dance. And he's like, calm down, I'm just gonna have ramen. He said, like, he said, like, as if, or what did he say? Something. And then Naruto was like, we need to get help. And they both ran. And I barely got to really see or talk to Naruto. It was like, he was just gone like that. And I'm like, oh my God, they're gone. I said, we need to leave because I feel like we're not gonna. And he's like, they can't touch me. I'm like, we walked up to them. Okay, he didn't walk up and said hi. He just walked up and stood there. If you had said hi or smiled, maybe that would have helped if you smiled. He's like, there's nothing I could have did. They would have still reacted the same way regardless. So we get our ramen. We're sitting there eating ramen. I'm eating it very cautiously and I'm kind of looking around because I'm paranoid now. Because I think like the Black Ops or someone's going to pop up there 
and shoot him with a dart. And then I'm like, get shot with what? <laughs> and I don't want to fall asleep there and get pulled elsewhere. Because I don't, because later, lately, I've wandered to other planes of places that I don't want to go. So that's what it's been like for me lately. So he's like, relax a little bit. And my hand was on the table. He put his hand on top of my hand. I moved my hand out of the way. He's like, what? I'm like, big brother. And he like rolled his eyes. He's like, whatever. So then he was like, okay, well, you don't want to be here anymore. We can leave. And I'm like, I'm enjoying the ramen. Let's just sit here. He goes, well, you don't look like you're enjoying it. You're like looking around and stuff. So I kind of like, I was like, okay, well, I'll only look at you. He goes, we're leaving. So he takes my hand. He pulls me like out of there. And you know how someone's pulling you along? Like, I think I've talked to you about it. Like, you don't know where you're going. It's like those animes where you see like people, like someone pulling the other person and they're looking kind of like scared or like, because they don't know what, where they're going, but the other person does. And they are literally being kind of dragged in a way, but they're moving, but they're trying to walk with them. It was kind of like that. So I was just like, and he was in a, we were, we were in like a crowd of people. And I heard like, I heard like, there he's here or something. He has come, he's come to destroy our village. And I was like, who come to destroy their village? Who's, who's going to destroy their village? He's like, let's go. So next thing you know, he's running and I'm basically being like, so my feet weren't even on the ground no more. I was like, he's like, he was running. I was like, really? I told you this was a bad idea. Like, you can't just walk around people like you're not an enemy. So then we get to the edge, edge of like a cliff. And he's like, if I jump off of the cliff and you are holding my hand the whole time and you fall, when you shift your guide, I said, I'm going to call immediately. And my guide will pull me out here. He's like, did you use your word again? Because I don't, I didn't see you write it down earlier. And I was just like, don't threaten me. Because <laughs> I, like, I, I forgot, guys. I forgot to put my word under my pillow. But I guess he was watching me the whole time do that. So he knows, like. So I was like, don't play with me. I'm like, come on, let's go. So then he, he finally he just teleports us out of there. And I'm just like, I didn't get to see. He's like, at least you got to see them physically with your eyes. You may not have got to high five them or nothing. That would have been really cool to be able to high five Naruto. Like, high five, buddy. <laughs> I love you, little kid. I'll adopt you. Like, I'll adopt Naruto. Like, I feel so bad for him growing up and stuff without no family. Like, I would adopt him. So, yeah, I got to go to, to Naruto Shippuden, but it wasn't what I thought. But he was, like, parading me around arm in arm like I was his girl or something. I didn't really like, like, the feeling. Like, I... Like, I was his, like, girlfriend or something. He was, like, come on and stuff, trying to hold my hand and trying to, like... It was just the closeness for me, like, doing this and stuff while walking with me and, like, smiling and laughing. He's like, what are you laughing for? <laughs> like, it's like you're having a conversation with yourself and you're pretending that I'm in it with you. You're getting more... He's getting more delusional by the day, like, I swear. But, yeah, so... That's what happened in um, Naruto Shippuden. So he was just, like... You want to go back to that guy, don't you? I'm like, to Toshinori. He goes, yes, to Toshinori. I'm like, of course. I said, but today is Frodo's day, so I have to spend it with him. So he's like, okay, I'm not going to argue with you about that. And I'm like, you shouldn't be arguing with me anyway. So we hang out like every other day. Like literally, I hang out with you more than I hang out with Toshinori and Keiko. That's a problem. Definitely more than Frodo. And he's like, well, you can bring Frodo, you know, with us. I can be like a dad to him and... I'm like, no, because I feel like you're trying to put, I feel like he's trying to make us play house, like trying to make Frodo like our kid <laughs> and then make me like the mom and him, the dad or something. And he's like, we can get like, we can have like a small area we always go to with just me, you and him. I said, that sounds very familiar. That sounds like what me and Kegel do. And Toshinori and I have a special spot there, his house, <laughs> you know, like I haven't had, had, you know, and I thought I hadn't had breakfast with him for a while. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be going to Toshinori house. He said, well, let me walk with you. So then I'm like, okay. So I get to Toshinori house. He's not there. Um, apparently he had, so Toshinori wasn't there. So you know what I did? I called the school because I'm like, this is no, yeah, I need to talk to him. So I'm like, because I want to clear up our little argument from before. This is this guy. This just looks so bad. I don't want to take these out. Isn't it pretty? I was like, yeah, so I'm going to, I think we need to clear up our argument from before. So I'm going to see if I can get him to just come home so he could be with me. 
And Madara is like, well, I'll just hang out with you for the time being until he gets here. And then I'll just leave. I'm like, um, actually, I wanted to just lay down and maybe eat some ice cream or something. He goes, come on, it's just so you're not alone. I'm like, fine, Madara, just stick around until he gets here. He goes, well, you didn't sound too happy. I'm like, am I supposed to be happy right now? <laughs> I was actually pissed, but I didn't say it. So I'm just like, okay, Madara, you can stay here. So Madara is like, okay, well, you know, I'm glad you came with me to meet my family. I'm like, yeah, it was really great, but I'm, you know, I didn't know who I was expecting to meet. So I'm just like, okay, you know, that's, that's wonderful. Still weirded out by it secretly, but won't tell, won't tell him. I'm just like, well, thanks for sharing that with, with me, your, you know, little sister. And he goes, I told you about the brother sister thing. He said, that's not even normal. Brother and sister don't hang out like that. And I'm like, I think they do. How does that look? Does that look nice? No, it's still, it's still, it looks a mess. <laughs> I can't believe I've got on here looking like this in front of you guys. Look, it's been 26 minutes already. I'm still not done with my story time though. I said I was going to go faster this time, make my videos not too long for you guys. Because I feel like I'm just getting long-winded and thirsty <laughs> when I talk for a long time for no reason. So anyway, I'm sitting in the house with him. And then he goes, he walks up, he smiles. He holds out both his hands like this. And I'm like, what's in your hand, Mara? Are you playing good, like a game with me? He goes, let's play a game. I go, what kind of a game? First off, that's a problem. <laughs> Whenever I say what kind of a game, what does it sound like? Mm, it sounds like Toshi Nori. Remember? Remember when I first used to mess around with him and he used to do all type of crap to me and like trap me and stuff like that? So I was like, what kind of a game? I didn't even think anything because it's Madara, you know? What? He goes, I have two pills. I have a red one and a blue one. I'm like, did you watch The Matrix? He's like, no, these pills are special type of pills. One of them will take you down a rabbit hole. And one of them will take you to a place you 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 always know, or a place that you, a place that you 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 that you go to every day that you know, or something in your everyday life. And I'm just like, what? He said, that's the blue pill. The red pill will take you down the rabbit hole. The red pill is danger, then, right? Why would I take the red pill? I said, Toshi Nori should be here soon. We only got like to wait like a few hours. He said, a couple hours to play this game. Why not play? Fine, Madara, I'll play the game with you. I'm going to take the blue pill because I'm not going to be dumb, right? I take the blue pill, I'll swallow it. He goes, here, take some water, swallow it. I swallow the pill. And it's so weird because he went over to the, he went over to the sink. He put his hands like this. He took a deep breath. <sighs> You're not going to like this pill. I'm like, you said, this is the, I said, this is safe. The red one is the rabbit hole freaking danger pill, right? He fills up a glass of water and he sets it down like, on the table, like a, like a, a louder noise in there. And I'm just like, is he mad? What the hell? So he gives me the blue pill. He's like, swallow it, drink it down. And I'm drinking a little bit, but then he pushes the rest of the cup up like this. And you probably thinking like, why would I take some pill, right? Because it's the red pill and then it's the blue pill. <laughs> the red pill and the blue pill, right? They're harmless, right? They're supposed to be harmless pills. So I'm like, okay, so the blue pill will take me somewhere I always know. I always wanted to go somewhere that I'm familiar with. And I figured this little game is probably going to be like teleporting, whatever. We can always come back before Toshinori get home. I just got to take that as a loss that he's not there. And if I miss him tonight, I'm going to miss him. So I go, what did I just take? He said, a laxative. I said, you know what? Fuck you. And I mean that. I said, fuck you. And I mean that. Like from the bottom of my heart. And he's like, really? He started laughing. He's like, really? You mean that? I'm like, yes, I mean that. Like, from my heart, I mean it. And I'm not going to change. Yes, fuck you. Why would you give me a damn laxative? You said it's a place that I always know. And I just wanted to be familiar with it. And I'm just like, man. He's like, well, I'm like, I'm going home. I'm going to go home. I'm not going to deal with this here with you. With me having an issue. And while I'm talking to him, I'm like, crap. And I run to Toshinori's bathroom. And I'm like, well, you know what? This feels familiar. The only difference is Toshinori didn't let me get to the bathroom in time. He like, I remember that part. Yeah. And I got really sick too. And I'm just like, okay. So I run in his bathroom. I'm sitting in his bathroom on the toilet. Okay. You know why? And I'm just like, my stomach is hurting so damn bad. And I'm just like, you know what? Screw this. I didn't write my name underneath the thing. So I can't leave when I want to. So that's my fault. Okay. 
And I think he knew that. So he just wanted to torture me in this way. But why torture my gut? Like, make me a gut buster. Come on. I said, where did these pills come from? Like, I'm talking to him outside the door. He's like, let me in and I'll tell you. I'm like, no, I'm not going to let you in. And he's like, do you smell, does it smell bad in here? Because of that. I'm like, I'm like, Madara, listen, you need to go away. Toshinori will be coming home soon and I'll get to see him. And he's like, well, I was, I wanted to, I thought for sure you would pick the red pill, okay? That's why you say no, take the red pill. And you just, you just shove the red pill in my mouth. Not a freaking lie, I said, you asshole. Like, I was like, I don't want to see you right now. Just go away. And he was just like, well, I guess today wasn't really that much of a success of becoming closer to you. I was just trying to become closer. He was like, I'm about to leave now, so I'll talk to you some other time. And he left. And so, like, after he left, I, th I ran some bath water. I put some roses in it. I went in Toshinori's drawer. And I said, you know what? Toshinori, lately, he's been really, like, um, like not really has time for me and not really, like, busy for me. So I'm going to mess with him since I can't see him. So... Even though I had my bathroom trip, luckily it was only one time. I didn't have to keep going back. Madara was gone. So I went into Toshinori's drawers. I pulled out all of his clothes. I pulled everything out and I just threw it on the floor. I threw all the stuff out of his closet on the floor. I basically messed up his whole room. Um, what else did I do? I messed up his bed too. And I laid on his bed like with no blanket on there. I just laid on his, his sheet basically. Just laid on there. I fell asleep. Um, and then when I was coming, when I was, I fell asleep there. And then when I was coming to go back, when I was trying to wake up and come back, I got like sucked back. I was like, thank you. But that was dangerous. Cause I didn't, I didn't, I couldn't use pillow face. Cause I didn't forgot to put the freaking note under there. And what I do, you don't just put, so whenever you shift somewhere, right? You, if you're going to shift and you're using pillow face every day, when you go, before you leave, neither right. Do not use your same sheet. Do you hear me? Do not use the same paper you already wrote on before. You need to get a new one and you need to write what you want on it because you're representing the now and the then. The then is that time. That's in the past. Okay. You did that. That was in the past. It's over. You can't ever get it back again. So when you shift again, you have to write out a new sheet that says pineapple or not pineapple, but whatever, <laughs> grape, orange, whatever you can imagine, write it on there. Okay. Don't be like me and be stupid and don't do anything. But that was stupid anyway, because I felt like... And then his his family, the freaking sprites from um, friend story, Friends of... The freaking... Uh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what the hell is it? Story of Seasons. Yes. That. that I love that game so much. It's like my... How did he know I liked it? Like, how long has this guy actually been watching me? I have no idea, but... But the laxative thing, that was a low blow. That was really a low blow. Like, I don't appreciate that at all. I don't trust anything now. I don't know if I want to eat anything from him. Because Toshinori poisoned me. But Toshinori has never, like, never given me a laxative. Before, when I had that laxative, when I was that was when I was trying to get Toshinori. I was trying to give that to him. He knew I was trying to give him drugs, and he reversed it. And basically, I got my own karma thrown back at, well, my own taste of my own medicine trying to poison him with it. That's what happened. And there was one time when we both poisoned each other. So, I mean, I learned a lot of hard lessons with Toshinori. He just knows. But this time, he willingly, he freaking did that. And I feel like he was trying to probably reenact that scene, but do it in a different way that he thought was better, using a red and blue pill. Like, what the hell? So, I'm never going to, like, trust him as far as, like, eating food from him again, unless we order from somewhere. I'm never going to take anything from him or drink it or anything like that. Because if you're going to do these kind of tricks, I can do the same thing to you. What if you're in the middle of fighting somebody and you had a blowout because I gave you a laxative? I was like, drink this water because you're probably thirsty. And I put stuff in it and then it happened to you. So I feel like I need to get revenge on him. I just don't know how he'll take the revenge. Like, well, like, do I want to risk actual instant death? Do I want to risk instant death? <laughs> or would I like to, like, just ignore it and take it as a loss? Cause I feel like he really messed me. Like, tell me, tell, you guys tell me what you think I should do to him for that. Cause he's not getting away with that. And you did it in Toshinori's house where he always poisoned me. Like Toshinori always poisons me or does something to me. And we haven't done that in so long, but he did it this time.
but he did it bluntly, like blatantly, like in front of me. Like I literally chose it from his hand, the blue pill. So the blue pill is a laxative, okay. You could have just told me, no, not the blue pill. Take the red one. And whatever other trick you wanted to play, do it with the red pill. Instead of just poisoning. He pissed me off with that. But I ended up not seeing uh, Toshinori. I didn't come back there because I'm like, yo, I'm going to have, if I go back the same night, I'm going to have the same effect as when I went. Because it's not going to be different unless it's a different day. And because I usually shift there. And if I go back again, it's going to take me right from that time that I started. It's not going to go further. Because I've tried to skip further <laughs> after doing things to people. And it does not work. It doesn't work for me. So I don't know. Just. I got to get Monica back. Maybe I can make him a huge fe feast and just fill everything with laxatives. And lock all the bathroom doors. He can just teleport somewhere and go if he needs to. I don't know. Like, how would I bind him? I should just do that to him. Just give him it, and then he'll have this feeling of the runs. And just, that's as good as it's going to get. Because I can't really trap him or do anything to him. It's Madara. So. But I wish he hadn't done that to me. Like, you're supposed to be my friend. Why would you do that? Why would you try to... That caused physical harm to my body. Like, my stomach was hurting so bad. And it, and it didn't get better. Even though I wasn't going anymore, it still hurt. And I couldn't be with Toshinori and tell him what happened because he was at the school. But school is almost out. Why would he need to be there? So I don't understand that at all. I don't know. I'm gonna do anyway, I'm going to sell this on the street corner. It's going to make me so much money. I can't wait. I'm not going to illegally sell it. I actually have a business now. I'm trying to get my business off the ground. Uh, message me if you would like a bottle of this. Okay? I'll, bring, I'll, I'll mail it out to you some type of way. I'm only selling them for um, $5 plus shipping. But this is a recipe I wrote down, so I would keep it. All right, here they come. Mm, here comes now. Mm, it's like dripping blue up my head, right? You're, 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 you're always like, okay. Yeah, this is a lot of bubbles. It's like so many. Don't go on my keyboard. Don't. Okay. I feel like that's kind of dangerous for me to be doing in front of there. But these are a lot. You can even blow bubbles from the bubbles that are already in the air. So I think I did a pretty good job with this with this um oh and this was and if this was a double wand, that would be awesome. I would definitely do both. I have to show you guys how cool this is some other time. Like I have to advertise it to you guys in some way. But tell me how to get back Madara. Like I definitely have to get him because he got me in. He, thinks he, he thought that grab was funny. He was just laughing and laughing and laughing. And, like, it's like, I don't know. Like, I'm not cool with that. Like, you don't do that to somebody. Your friend. Like, I would play around that way probably with Majin Buu because we've gotten so close now. Majin Buu and I are, like, best friend. He kind of gives me, like, a feminine vibe, but he really likes, he like women. He like, he like Midnight, but he like women. Like, he's seen other women and he was like, ooh. And he started reacting to them. Like, he got, like, kind of, like, <laughs> you know, he kind of like got like, you know, aroused. And I was with him during that time. So I'm like, um, I was like, do you, did you uh, work out? Did you and me and I work out your problem? And he said, not really. But he said, you know, she's not really responding to me the way I want. So I might have to move along. And he's talking really, really proper. Like his speech is so good. He, unlike before where he was just saying like these half words he's actually starting to be, grow, become more intelligent and it's like she, he might leave her ass like if she don't play he might and he looking at other women and they like some of, some of the women I feel like they don't know what to think of my Ma, um, Majin they were just like but he has like a, a sex appeal about him like he has like um what's it called he's got it whatever it is he has it he has mojo and people are picking up on it and that's enough to cause them that's enough attraction right there to get somebody you know 
So I feel like he wanted to go after somebody he could. Not in a bad way to hurt them, but to talk to them, he could. And they would be like, okay. He would be, they would be all over each other. Like, I feel like Majin is like, he's starting to become more aware of what Midnight is talking about. Like, he he understands what she's talking about, but he doesn't know what she wants. And I kind of want to ask him, like, what did you do? Because for her to be, you know, acting like this or whatever. I don't know. I didn't want to jump too much into it, but I was just like, cuz, I got your back. He was like, I know cuz. And like, but he's a, he's very feminine though. It's like, but he, it's so weird because he like women. And it's like, you seem like you would be like, you know, bi or something. And there's nothing wrong with that, but he doesn't show interest in guys. And I think, I think that would be interesting if he, if he did like guys and girls, but he don't, he only like guys. I mean, he only like girls, so, mm. And I'm just, I asked, I also asked him, I was like, um, have you decided where you're going to stay? Because Majibu doesn't have anywhere to stay. Like, he's been staying with Endeavor next to Frodo. So Frodo's room is, is downstairs, and so Majin's room is, like, above his. So when Frodo is in his boss pits and stuff, I know he can, like, hear him and everything. So I wonder if he's, like, his play buddy. When they, I don't know. I kind of want to look, but I don't want to get caught looking my monitor or something be like oh what you looking at like i don't know just whatever but um, my Jesus is really cool he's a really cool guy like he is so cooler than i thought <laughs> i was so scared of him at first and now i'm so comfortable with him i can just talk to him so anyway guys <laughs> If you guys like my video, don't forget to give a video a like. Don't forget to support this channel by subscribing and sharing it and um, hitting like the bell. So that way you're notified when my next video pops up. Because as you guys can see, I don't really have a random time for my videos yet. I would like to do every Saturday and every like certain days of the week. Like Wednesday or Thursday or Friday or all three days or something. Just to keep you guys updated on what's happening and what I'm doing. <laughs> I have to figure out a plan for Madara and how I'm going to get him back. I, I don't know what I'm going to do for that guy, but I have to get him for this. He's not getting away with it. Like, maybe it was a prank he was trying to do, and he didn't know how to do a prank, but that's the type of prank you you don't do that to someone, no. What if we had it been somewhere public and he had to put it in my food? Then what? Now I would have been embarrassed. It's like, come on. Don't you know what I mean? Yeah, like... I don't remember which episode it was, but I was trying to get Toshinori. Because I, I was trying to get him. What was I trying to do? I think he was like running to the bathroom and I couldn't. I was trying to go in there with him and he wouldn't let me in. And I, But he didn't have any smell or anything. And I think I was trying to poison him so that I could go in the bathroom with him. Or like, I don't know what I was trying to do. But I think I broke his door off the hinges or something. Or I, I, I think I screwed off his the door. Yeah, I screwed the hinges off his door because I was trying to get in to see him and stuff. And to, to spy on him and be like a pervert and stuff. But <laughs> yeah, his freaking door fell off. It like fell. And then I I, dis I ran from there. And then I had my guy back then. My guy would, would come and grab me. So, But he's not here anymore. So... I just, now I got to be more careful with my shifts because I have to make sure I pay attention. I write it down every time. You know, I, I need to write my little note before my shift. Right, guys? Right, funny looking teddy bear that looked like you're shocked as heck to be here. Oh my God, somebody made me. Someone made me and I look like that. Yeah, you look, you look a hot mess. Who wants this, who wants this hot mess teddy bear? Raise your hand. <laughs> you see, so definitely, he's definitely a misfit. I'm a misfit. Okay, and then this one, he just looks so angry, like, oh, what'd you make me for? Like, I don't want to be here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I made you, teddy bear, the way that you are. Yeah. Oh, and then I have the one I made that cries and wets and everything. That one is like a product. That's like a huge product that'll be coming out soon. I'm working on it. It's basically like a reborn, but it's a reborn furry. So he's a furry baby. <laughs> Yes, he's a furry. He's a furry reborn, and his name is Timothy. And um, he is too far away for me to grab from you. I would have to literally get up and grab him. Maybe I'll do that in another video to show you guys. But I'm selling bubbles on the street corner. Um, I can't wait to sell that. Yeah, it's gonna be so cool when I get a chance to. Also, I'm gonna put labels on it of the name of my business. I'll surprise you guys and tell you what it is later when I open. 
So that's what I'm hoping to do. I got a few weeks before I actually have a grand opening for my business. And I have a few people I've been talking to. So we're going to see how that goes. But anyway, in the meantime, tell me your ideas, comment and stuff in the section. Tell me what you think. Um, and I hope I see you guys again in my next video. Thank you guys for watching. Everyone, have a great day ha or night or morning. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you guys next time.